hey you welcome or welcome back to my channel <laughs> Last week, I said something about I'm not going to bring mommy content on YouTube. But anyway, I lied. It was a lie. It was a lie and I'm so sorry. <laughs> it was a lie. <laughs> I've just decided to put all my videos on one platform. And yeah, I hope y'all okay with it because I think y'all going to watch anyway. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's get into today's video. <laughs> So today I'm going to be talking about lockdown parenting. <sighs> it's more of a vent, really, because I am completely over this whole thing. Like, I am completely over it. I am tired and I just want my son to go back to school. <laughs> like, yeah. So what I basically did, like, over the past few days was I decided to compile a list of the positive and the negative aspects of this whole lockdown situation so obviously like the negative aspects kind of outweighed the positive because this is not a good situation especially for a single parent you guys like hi 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 i've had it up to like here if not like here because it's a lot but anyway let me get right into it so i'm going to start with the positive aspect since the list is very short and it's very short so um number one on my positives is that i get to spend a lot of time with martin i remember the first time we went into lockdown i loved it because i had just gone back to work i think i was back to work after for like six months and um i was missing out on a lot of stuff marty would start crawling and i wasn't there he'd start doing that thing where he stands and i wasn't there i was just so annoyed and i'd see these things on video so my nanny used to send me videos while i was at work and it wasn't cool trust me it wasn't fun and the one thing i actually enjoyed on the first lockdown is i got to see him go through his milestones that was perfect for me like i just i was literally in the next room so literally if he starts wanting to look like he wants to crawl they would holler like, mama, come and see. And I'd go rush, take my camera, take videos and see. Um, and I got to spend time with my son. We got to bond. Like he knew that I'm mama and then he didn't get confused. You know, kids sometimes get confused with the nanny and whatnot, whatnot. So that's one thing I liked. But that was when I had a nanny. Now, I like it because I, I guess I get to spend time with my son. Um, I love spending time with my son. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i do let's leave it right there and obviously the number two of the positive aspect is that i there are less chances of me actually contracting covid or getting that nursery school flu that kids just always bring back i swear marty brings back a different strain of the flu every other week i'm just like always sick and so i guess i get to get a break from that which is good and also not catching covid from Marty's nursery school. I could catch COVID from the delivery man, very likely, but not from Marty's school. So those are the positive things that I could come up with once like really thinking about this whole situation. What do I really like about lockdown parenting? <laughs> I couldn't say nothing. So <laughs> I had to come up with two things. And then my list of negative things is actually not long, but obviously, they're important enough for me to talk about them. Um, the first thing on my list is that there is literally zero separation between my work life and my parenting. So it's really difficult for me sometimes because sometimes I work, like I'm trying to work and I don't want Martin to feel like I'm neglecting him. But he needs, he obviously isn't at an age where he understands that during the day mommy needs to work, then she can give me some time during the night. So now because of that, I have to take multiple breaks, multiple, I have to take multiple breaks during the day, right? So that I can accommodate Martin. And there's a lot of stuff that I actually can't do during the day. When Martin, like, ah, 
I'm mixing up stories. Let's start again. I have to take multiple breaks during the day and therefore I need to cover up at night. So I, it seems like I'm constantly working, even though I am taking breaks to spend time with Martin and whatnot. So basically every time he kind of sees mama, she's like on her computer or trying to do some things. And I don't really like that because I want him to feel like when he's at home, he gets to be with his mom. It's family time. Like there's, there's really no time that I can actually just put aside and be like, okay, it's family time because it can be any time based on Marty's moods or however he's feeling at the time. I don't know if that makes sense. So there's like zero separation between like my work time and my parenting time. It's just all mushed up together. And I just have to make a plan where I can make a plan. If I have an urgent order, then that means I'm staying up all night to finish it while Marty is sleeping so that when he's awake during the day, I am a present parent. But what is that? I mean, what kind of life is that? When he was going to school, I would do all my recording during the day. He's a, he comes back from school at three o'clock. So during the day from like eight o'clock when he leaves for school to three o'clock, I can record, do all my recording, like my books, my music, my everything I record. And then when he comes back, I can finish off the last two hours doing my admin and whatnot. And then we can play until like eight o'clock when it's bedtime, eight o'clock it's bedtime. I can then get back to doing my work after that. Now I can't do that. Now I can't do that. I literally have to wait up late for me to do anything. Like now, right now I'm recording. What's the time? It's like 10.30 at night. Something I could have done during the day. You know what I mean? So it's like, I don't like that. Um, number two, I am forever cleaning. Ah, oh, I cannot keep this house clean. Like, ah, oh, I don't know if anyone else has this struggle. He eats, he wants to spill stuff everywhere. And now we're potty training and he insists on disposing of his own things in the toilet. Like I'm always holding my heart in, in my chest like this when he's walking to the toilet, holding his potty because it's Two out of three times it can be an accident and he can trip. But now I have to sweep up stuff. Ah, I'm always cleaning. <laughs> if it's toys and Marty has this thing where if he wants to go outside, he goes outside, he goes by the balcony and he throws over, he throws like his clothes or toys outside so that I can then walk around the block to go and get his stuff. And obviously he has to come with because I can't leave him alone in the house. And then he gets to go to the playground. So it's, it's, it's a bit... It's a bit much for me, to be honest. It's a bit much. Ah, oh, yeah. Number three on my list is basically the expense that comes with our kids not going to school. So, I mean, if you're a parent and you have a child who's Marty's age, right, when you're still paying for kindergarten, you all know that when you pay school fees, you also pay for the food that they eat during the day, right? So, that school fee is supposed to cover daycare and meals, right? So, now because of COVID, I am the daycare and I am the cook. Like I am literally, why am I paying them? Now I have to come up with an, a whole extra budget because some of our kids eat, y'all. <laughs> two year old. Yeah, I have to come up with a whole budget. Outside of the school budget, the budget that I already have for Marty's school. I now have to come up with a budget for Marty's food. For the day and on top of that i have to become his teacher they send you all his curriculum his the stuff he needs to draw the music he needs to listen to i now have to become a teacher color in the traffic light yes. this should be orange and this should be green i do not have the patience I do not have the patience to be singing head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes with Marty. Obviously, I can do it here and there as a game, but not as I'm teaching you the, the parts of your body. And there's some, some things I can teach him, but like when it comes to these things, I really don't have the patience because Marty doesn't really listen to me. And I think kids have this thing of not listening to their parents. They just want to listen to strangers. And it is what it is like that's why they have to go to school to learn and they're not taught by their parents because it just doesn't work it doesn't work marty doesn't get it i make him sit on the table marty needs to work he doesn't get it he just wants to cry he wants to eat he wants to play he wants to watch coco melon so i'm not a teacher and i do not want to be paying someone else to be a teacher only for me to be a teacher like 
it's really frustrating me like i'm really i'm really frustrated about that because that's that, that's money y'all money don't grow on trees like for y'all to just take our money and you know oh. yeah and the other thing is that basically yeah because marty doesn't have play with other kids i have to be a child and play with him 24 7. it's really hard i know it's 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 it may sound like i'm just on a rant I am on a rent, um, but it's really difficult because parenting requires teamwork. And you guys, with single parenting, there is no teamwork, zero teamwork. There's literally just work. It's just work, 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 work. Literally. And like, it's hard. It is hard. And I'm just going to take a moment of silence for all the single parents out there. Even all the parents doing it together. I know that you guys are going through the most with your kids at home right now. Because it's a lot. Having to balance work from home and your children, especially if they don't understand yet, is just a moment of silence. Because... Mm-mm. Mm-mm. right. Ni sharp. I'm good with this lockdown and I'm hearing rumors that they want to extend this thing and make it last longer <laughs> than the time. They, I feel like we're only like two days into the lockdown and I'm already crying because I am suffering. I am truly, truly, truly suffering. And you know, as a single parent, sometimes all you just want is time away from your kids. You know, I'm literally bombarded with Marty in every single thing that I do in every single point of my day when i want to bath he's there lurking when i want to use the toilet he's there lurking when i want to lie down he's there lurking i want to work he's there i want to watch tv he's there he it's, it's literally it just becomes so much um i'm so glad that i managed to sleep train marty very early and so i know that at eight o'clock he'll be passed out and so from eight o'clock until about midnight because i try and sleep early um, but if I have a lot of work, then I'm working way into the morning and then I have to be up by eight because at eight o'clock he needs to sit on his freaking potty so that he can do his business because man cannot do that on his own yet. <laughs> oh, I love my baby. I love him so much. Like, but lockdown parenting has not been cool. It has not been cool. It's, it has been torturous. It has been quite torturous. And if Mr. Ramaphosa is out there listening, I feel like we should do the things and make the vaccines to be made, to be given to people so that we can kind of get back to semi-normal life and not have to go back to like level four or five where kids cannot go to school. Children need to go to school. This whole lockdown situation is ruining our relationship with our kids because... I feel like I'm constantly shouting. Like, if I can't find Marty, I'm literally shouting out his name because I know he's up to no good. And that is not healthy for us. We need a balance in life. Kids need school. We need free time. So, I'm really hoping that this can come to pass very soon because, to be honest, I'm tired of being a lockdown parent. I'm tired. I'm very tired. Anyway, thank you so much for coming to my TED Talk. I'm exhausted, <laughs> as you can see from my demeanor. I'm like just over it. I'm just over it. So um, hopefully like in the 14 days that they said we're in lockdown, it'll be just 14 days and kids can go back to school because I, I don't want to get sick with COVID, but I'm just tired. Like, oh, yeah, I'm very defeated by the situation, as y'all can see. But thank you for watching my video. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk and listening to me rant about lockdown parenting and why I am tired of it. I'm just ready. I'm so ready for my son to go to school. Like, if school's open, I will take him myself. Like, <laughs> you don't even have to send transport. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, anyway. DM or comment below with um t telling me what you would like to see on my channel. There is more music coming. Um yeah, there is more music coming like <laughs>
fire music actually i'm actually very impressed with myself <laughs> if i do say so myself but in the meantime do check out my songs that are um that are on my channel i've got a my music section as well as a music videos section check that out check that out don't say i didn't tell you but thank you for watching and if you and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel I love you for watching. Bye. It's singing break time. So all those that have subscribed have subscribed. Um, today the song that I'm going to sing is called Take You Away. So Take You Away up to now is one of my biggest songs, if I can say that. A lot of people I talk to actually like Take You Away the most. Um, but yeah, I also like Take You Away, but I don't know if it's still my favorite song. Um... But yeah, so take you, let me take you away. <clears throat> Met a man from Nigeria, he was looking my way. He said, oh God, you're so serious, I want you to come my way. I know I'm to waste time, oh, I go marry you today. I'll give you a nice life, oh, I'll take you away. I'll go take you away, take you away. You want mansion, no, you want fly play. I'll take you away, I'll take you away. We no go waste time, we go marry today. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Bye guys, enjoy the rest of your week. See you on Friday.